Thank you, everybody. It is live on Saturday night with Ask Auntie K. Hi, everybody, and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you have had wonderful starts to your weekend. I hope you have weather that makes you happy. I say this while I'm uh, recording with not the most awesome weather. But we are here tonight, and I am happy to be here. And this is Saturday night with Ask Andy K. And how this works is you send in your questions, and I pick one of them every week to do here on Saturdays with Ask Andy K. And it's very simple. You go to my website as though you were booking one of my paid readings, and you can certainly book those too. And, um, you in up in the special section up top it says win a win a reading and you fill that section out and i it will book in for saturday and um and i choose the one that i like the best and the one i have chosen this week i like the best and I am going to assume that if you are followers of Andy K and the Land Back Tarot, that uh, you are going to like this question also. There's other things on my site to check out. If you are here because you enjoy learning more about tarot, we have Tarot Study Buddy, which is there to help anybody who has a difficult personal reading on their tarot journey. You can book readings with me. You, there are still a few copies of the Lambeck Tarot and Oracle of Colonization. I hope that's still true when you all watch this. I'm not sure that it's going to be. We'll see. But, um, and we have um, an Oracle card that um, is out here that we are going to do um, before we get started. And it says... How can I know myself as bigger than any fear? And it is a prairie, <clears throat> prairie king snake and shed from the prairie majestic oracle. How can I know myself as bigger than any fear? And this oracle reading is for any of you out there, um, but also to um, today's winner, um, an educated fool. Pay attention to this king snake too. <coughs> um, the king snake reminds us to pay attention to what it is we're afraid of, and to really know um, what who um, it is we are afraid of, and examine that fear and see if it's actually legitimate. It's is this a legitimate? Fear, in which case it should become a concern that we problem solve and deal with. But if it's a fear that is ungrounded, it's probably something else that we are, you know, turning or running away from. And um, and we may not really know. The uh, prairie king snake, it says in the guidebook that the prairie king snake is not a dangerous snake but it's often mistaken for a dangerous snake. And um, so, you know, shed those fears. And uh, this, this is an important lesson of the prairie snake. So let us get into this reading. So today's winner has asked, I want to start getting involved in an abolishment movements, abolish the police in particular. We approve. Um, but I feel like I should know all the history, know what's happened already, know all the lingo. I feel like I need to know everything and I get stuck in this education phase and become unable to move from there. So what or how can I move from this into action? An educated fool. Well, an educated fool, uh, we are going to answer this question, um, particularly n not just because, yay, we have, you know, we have an amazing uh, question everybody can learn something from and learn to go out and do, but um, your fear in this is not uncommon. It's not uncommon. It's not uncommon to fear 
that um, I don't know enough, that we're going to go in and be seen as, um, as not knowing. So let us get into this question. And we are going to pull, what is my fear hiding? You know, what is your fear of needing to know everything hiding? What's the, what's underlying that? We're pulling it right up off the top. I'm going to pull the whole spread, show you what we have, and then uh, get into reading it. It was stuck, coming really hard, the eight of drums. So it's going to be right in to the point. It's not hiding a whole heck of a lot. Um, it's Well, it is. It's hiding, you know, your fear that, you know, your knowledge is um, going to be infantilized. And we have what to bring awareness to instead. Interesting, interesting. We have the four of drums. Interesting. So next we're going to see what do I, um, how can I remain open to action? How can I remain open to action? This one came really quickly. Whoa, warrior of drums. The drums are just flying out of here. Flying out of here. Are you going to come right now? What do I have to offer to um, these movements? Two of weapons. All right. And this is a shadow card some will like it's not easy overcoming our fears whatever they might be isn't easy and it comes from um our will being broken down almost always and this is part of the struggle and so what we're going to see here in this reading is your part of this particular struggle um of will with the chariot your will to do something that you really want to do and what is getting in it where you've been like beaten down and from that a, a fear and an uncertainty has developed and i think most of us can recognize right now that part of what we're looking at in um in this and in these cards is imposter syndrome and so let's talk about it, okay? What is my fear hiding um, that is blocking my will? This is the question that we're seeing. What is my fear hiding that is blocking my will? Eight of drums. And we're going to look really specifically at this particular eight of drums, land back tarot. Yes, on my website. And um, so... This is um, a fear that if you don't know everything, if you haven't already accomplished that, um, you know, completion of achieving all the knowledge you set out on your path to achieve in, you know, joining the movement to abolish police, um, if you don't know it all, that you will be infantilized. And, um, for you, this is where that fear comes from. And, you know, um, part of what you need to remember is, uh, to not lose connection to what it is you're after, um, joining the movement and the, um, knowledge comes from joining the movement. So, um... The four of drums in this case is someone who's lost that uh, connection to what it is they were after in the first place. And fear is letting you start out from a disconnection 
of what you're after in the first place. And that is everything that you are going to learn by actually being involved in the movement. How can I remain open to action? Warrior of drums. But let's not forget we're working with Will. And Will, as far as I'm concerned, when willpower shows up as something we need to do or something we have or something we're learning, something we're in the process of, we are talking about the fact that you bring willpower out when stuff is difficult. So what is difficult? How can I remain open to action? Be perceptive. Be perceptive. Um, and go in there, you know, with the, like, I'm checking this out. I'm learning this bit by bit. You don't need to get in there and, like, be the next speaker. The speakers are largely coming from someone who has been a speaker at um, actions and movements. The, the speakers understand that a large part of their job is um, to give you that education. Protests don't, um, protests are the scale that we see in, um, Canada and the U.S. Are not of the size that, um, in and of themselves are going to abolish the police. Um, it, it takes like something bigger, like shutting down their ability to do something. That's, which we have seen um, the start of in the past year. Thank God. It does have to decolonize. And you will see more of that decolonization talk um, up here in Canada where you are located. The speakers understand that largely what we are doing in a protest is um, education and community building and building up the spirit that look around and see how we, who is here beside you, who is here beside you joining in this and to take power from that. Um, and the, as we grow and as movements grow and become bigger and more people come to listen and to learn and to take action as they are learning. Um, you know, it's real hands-on learning. And it's real hands-on get to know people while you're there. Um, and, and that's really what it's about. And that's where it's effective because that will build you up over over time enough to say this is the family and the movement that I am growing up into and becoming a part of. And so you go in it um, where the work and the action is like married with the learning. What do I have to offer these movements. You're looking at this and you're thinking, but you just said, I don't have to go in there and be a speaker. No, you don't. But that doesn't mean that you won't become one when you've done a whole lot of this. And when you've embraced being the child who is open to learning everything there is to know about it and understood that you're there for a connection. All those things include a voice without being the speaker up at the mic. They include a clear and connected voice. And it's a voice that is heard across the landscape. Because that's the voice that's heard in people's hearts. And that's what actually grows movements is when we connect in learning and um, 
growing movement families and um, connecting with each other in these movements. That's, that's when we grow them. That's where they have power. And that is the most powerful voice in movements is <clears throat> the relationships built in them. And um, if you go there looking for that, you, um, you will find that you have so much of a voice to offer and it doesn't have to be up at a mic and it doesn't have to be knowing um, everything. You know, even in the level of getting involved and meeting people where you get to know enough um, connections to join organizing, organizing still needs people who are learning because those are the people who learn also how to organize from people who are knowing it versus people who are like, I've been attending, 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 and I know all this stuff and now I'm going to organize. It's a whole nother skill set. I know that because I did that. Um, but if you go in there, This position has so much clear voice to offer, especially because this sort of connection of voice takes so much listening and so much connecting. All right. Will really, really guided this, um, this reading and in a really beautiful way. <clears throat> and I'm really glad that this came forward. This was wonderful. If you want to send in a question, send it in, go through the bookings and join up there. You can um, sign up for my monthly newsletter and there is a discount available in the newsletter only every month. And it's a new one every month. You can um, join up for um, Tarot Study Buddy. You can join our Tarot Journal group chat and you can, of course, book private readings. I have Oracle readings that are just $5 if you want a short, quick Oracle reading delivered to your inbox every morning. And I have all kinds of videos, including ones where we deep dive into tarot and politics and um, how we understand tarot through the real lived um impacts and understandings and um, realities of our lives in the society that we live in. I will see you all later.